Lesson 21, 22 in the textbook, Harper, Introductory Hebrew Method, going through Genesis in detail. Vayitzer, Vayitzer, it's defective, there's a yud missing, uh, it's defective for Vayitzer. Vayyabe, Vayyabe, and he caused to come, Vayyabe. Compare this with Vayyabdel, Vayyabdel. It's clearly a hifil, imperfect, third person masculine singular of the root bo to come in. Instead of the patah, the preformative yud has uh, the kamets in an open syllable. Vayabe. Lir ot. Lir ot. To see. Compare with lim shol. Langasot. Raot is the infinitive construct of the verb raahi so. So, ra'ot, infinitive construct of ra'a, he saw. Le, before a letter with shwa, takes the chrik. Here we have a dagish after a vowel. Mai yikralo. And so you can see even here in the transliteration, the yud is doubled. What he will call to him, to it, to him. My yikralo. And here is the etanach, the um, semicolon breaking the sentence into two parts. The interrogative what here pointed like the article. Lo to him, just like bo in him. My Yikralo. Who, literally meaning he. He is. So it has the sense here of um, the copula of the verb to be. Shemo. Shemot. His name and names. Before the suffix. Or the e of shame becomes a shva. But this here is retained before the feminine plural suffix ot. So shemot, it's here, but shemo, not shemo. The ribinga over shemot. Is, a, is, is an accent to pay attention to there. Matza, he found. Matza. Kara, bara. So here we have a instead of a, as in Shabbat. Here, because the a, the aleph, is silent. Matza, literally, he found. But here it's impersonal, there was found. Vayyapel, and he caused to fall. Vayyapel. And this form is for Vayyanpel, which has an assimilation going on here. So it's just like Vayyabdel in Hifnil. The root. Na, na fal, na fal. The nun is assimilated and presented, represented by the dagish forte, replacing the missing consonant. Na tan, na tang, na fah, na fal. All have nun. 
for their first radical. The old paradigm word was pangal. To help you remember the, the binyanim, the paradigms. The first radical of which is p. And so technically these verbs are called p nun verbs. Tardema, deep sleep. Tardema. Vay yishan. And he slept. Vay yishan. Compare with Vay yitzer. It's pausal, so ah uh, here, heavy syllable. The radical yud becomes silent after the preceding chirik. Ahat, ahat, one. This is the feminine of ehad. Mitz tzal ngotav. From ribs his. Mitz tzalangotav. So min here is assimilated, giving us a double consonant. Tzalangot is the plural construct of tzelang, a feminine noun. The possessive ending av is the same as in appav, which we saw before his nostrils. Vay yisgor. Vay yisgor. And he closed. Compare this with Vay yishbot. Perfect. Some examples. Sagar. Nisgar. Suggar. Hisgir. Imperfect. Yisgor. Yisager. Yisugar. Yasgir. Basar, flesh. Basar. Compare with Adam, Kanaf, Zahav, Nahar. Nafar Tahtena Tahtena instead of her in her place. Tahat and the connecting syllable in the feminine suffix a and it's assimilated backwards, so Tachtena becomes Tachtena and then the vowel letter He is added Tachtena Observations The preposition Min from is written separately mainly before the article otherwise it's joined to the following word the nun is assimilated giving us a double consonant if that's possible but if the following word begins with a gut rule then we can't have the dagesh forte and the um, syllable weight therefore increases the e becomes e the syllable standing second before the tone receives meteg if it is an open syllable. Three accents of high rank. Zakef Katon, Zakef Gadol, and Rebinga. Verbs whose first radical is noon assimilate the noon whenever it would stand at the close of a syllable. And so we lose the noon 
and it's replaced by Dagis Forte doubling the letter. Such forms, he notes here, are liable to be confused with Pingel forms.